right guys here we are chicken and light this chrysler pacifica 2007 model as you all know yellow indicates a trouble code let's go into the p that's also a flash update but let's go into the pcm see what codes we have all right let's go on the dtc oh evap codes guys po456 small evap lee 0457 gas cap loose 0455 a lot of evap code large leak also guys and a poa3b transmission related issue that's pending guys all right so i'm gonna focus on these evap leaks first guys i will looks like i'm out to do a test called uh, evap leak test i'm gonna need a machine okay so i'm gonna go grab my evap tester and we are gonna do the evap leak test all right i'm gonna take y'all along for the ride with me we're gonna figure out why this system losing vapors guys that's what's going on vapors are escaping into the atmosphere that is a no-no according to the epa all right so stay tuned let me go grab the two i'll be all right, right guys first thing first before we do anything let's take a look at this gas cap because every time you see a loose gas uh-oh no good guys this is a no-no i don't care if it's brand new look it is brand new so just because they had the code for a loose gas cap they went out and got this. Now, I still need to perform the leak test. I'm still going to perform the leak test. But in my book, that's a no-no, guys. Never use these aftermarket uh, fuel cap. They are no good. So let me get the carpet in the air, and we're going to start our leak down test. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I have this Pacifica up in the air. This is an older model Pacifica, guys. Yes, the name Pacifica now refers to the new model uh, caravans, the town and country Oh, the old Dodge Caravan, they just re been redesigned and they are now called the Pacifica. This is the older bottles, Pacifica. I think this lived or lasted between 2004 and 2008, I want to say. But anyway, evap leaks. I would have to perform what we call a smoke test to help find an evap leak, especially if it's a small evap leak. Now, just because, that, by the way, there is a history on evap leaks on this particular model, okay? Yes, that makes for good memory, guys. Uh, we had a habit of uh, this tank with bow and break the tube up there, the nipple off of the fuel pump itself. Yes, I've seen it happen, guys. The tank would just bow over time. This is a, what, 07 model? So, yes, that tank is kind of bold, but never speculate, guys. Uh, actually run your tests and see if you're losing vapors from that area. And that is exactly what I'm about to do. I always go to the source doing my smoke test the source the heartbeat of the evap system keep in mind guys evap 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 system is designed to not really allow car makers are not allowed to uh let vapors escape okay um those few vapors escape into the atmosphere so what happens car maker came up with a way uh to store those vapors all right <laughs> this is a charcoal canister guys vapors can be stored here uh you can't store them forever so over time or doing drive cycles different drive cycles the purge valve would purge these vapors out of here and run them back recycle that those vapors back into the engine where <laughs> it would be burned out of the tailpipe and the cat converter which is uh up here would likely clean uh oh this car what kind of setup is this the cat is designed to clean up the exhaust coming out. Uh, hopefully turn everything into H2O water. All right. I don't know what kind of setup they got going here. Okay. Yeah, wow, this is an 07 model. This, this cat, oh, this would be a real fun to replace. Well, anyway, guys, that's EVAP system in a nutshell. In a nutshell. I explained it in depth on a separate video. But right now I'm finna hook up my tie in my EVAP tester uh like i say heart and soul for me or my the way i hook up it's actually on the the esim itself okay well, now whether your car is equipped with an esim leak detection pump or nvl pump they all perform the same thing so let me get this hose off guys stay tuned all right guys we're back i had to grab my hose removing pliers to get this off without breaking and you don't want to disrupt you don't want to cause a leak or say so be careful how you wiggle this back and forth because there's a little seal inside of there so i just grabbed my little pliers 
and work the holes off. All right, now from there, I'm gonna put my special tool that I happen to have built for this occasion. Okay, sometimes you have to do that, be creative. Now, what I'm gonna do with this hole is I'm gonna force steam and um, air into the system to help me pinpoint this leak. Now, this hose right here, I will attach this to my special tool. This is the machine we use to help find small evap leaks. All right, it will inject steam and air into the system uh, in hopes of finding the leaks. Now it's air operated, so I have an air hose on it and you need power supply. So I have my used battery right here. So now all I do guys is hook this up to my hose right here your real good connections I'm gonna let that hang right there and simply turn it on now as far as it's pumping steam into it also but as far as air this is what I really go by this helps with small leaks the goal is for this ball to drop all the way down to the bottom if you get all the way to the bottom and stays that signifies that there is no air leak okay if it hovers or hovers around like right up in here then there's a small evap leak now let's test the system out guys. Let's create a no leak scenario. Let me squeeze this hole and see if the ball dropped. Yes. Okay, the ball dropped because I simulated no leak. Now I'm gonna let it fill the system up and tell me if the system has a leak. Alright, this could take between five and ten minutes, guys. So I'll be right back. Alright, guys, here we are, maybe two, three minutes later, and that ball is still hovering around the arrow, which tells me that there is an evap leak. Now guys, because the system is full of steam and air, you should be able to visually see leaks by way of the leaks. Alright, let's look around. Oh, okay guys, what I see right off the bat. Uh-oh. Oh, do I hear? Yes. Y'all see that guys? Now, that is the danger in grabbing this, trying to take this hose off. Okay, I hope I did not cause that okay or it could have actually be it could actually be the cause all right see this hose over time it will really get a bite a hold to this so when you go to take it off you disrupt the seal in between the ESOM and the vapor canister okay so but from the looks of this that is my leak all right I have a leaking guys there is a seal between that some people replace both the ESOM and the seal if you're fighting for cash or your finance is low you may can get away with just the seal, but here I have to write up both the ESOM and the seal. Now that does not negate if the leak is in the normal spot. Okay, simply because this leak is taking over all the, you know, all the air. It's one of those cases where you have to fix this and recheck it because you very well could have the leak in the normal spots. I'm unable to see that because my my steam and my air is leaking out uh, the weakest point of the system, which happens to be here. Wow, 